In today's video, I'm going to show you how to attach objects to a wall in Adobe After Effects. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Brooker Films. And yes, in today's video, we're talking all about attaching objects to a wall in a shot. Now, this could be a text layer or this could be a shape layer, an image, a video. It doesn't matter, the technique is still the same. Now this effect uses a technique called motion tracking and this is where the camera analyzes the camera movements and uses those data points to stick an object, so that's your text, your video, your image, whatever it is, to the original video file. So without any further ado, let's load up Adobe After Effects and let's jump straight into it. So once we're inside of Adobe After Effects and we have our footage in place, we want to go ahead and create a brand new null object. Now from here we want to select the video, go into window and change the workspace from minimal to motion tracking. Now in motion tracking you want to press the track motion button. You want to go ahead and you want to find a contrasted area within your video. So if you look at the moment, I'm currently placing this in this area where there's a dark shadow. So I'm placing it in the shadow, this is a nice contrasted area. But I'm going to move this along up to this corner here and try and find another point. So here you go, we've got the dark shaded area of the wall on the right and then we've got the left side of the wall which is a little bit brighter and this is enough contrast for this to work. But I'm just going to test this first by pressing the play button. And as you can see that has stuck so I'm going to go ahead and track the rest of this. So I'm just going to press the play button. And there we go, that has perfectly tracked that movement. So now from here, I'm just going to go ahead and edit the target and I'm going to make sure this is to the null 2 and I'm just going to apply this to the X and the Y dimensions and press OK. Now from here, all of those tracking points have been applied to the null object. So all we need to do is create our objects and parent these to this null object. So if we create a brand new text layer, move this into position and then we drag the pick whip tool and drag this onto the null object. This is going to parent that text layer to the null object. If we play this back, you will soon notice that this text is sticking with the video on those tracking points that we made just now. Now the great thing is because these tracking points are applied to this null object rather than a text layer, we can stick literally anything to this null object. So I'm going to create some shadow for this text. So I'm going to create a brand new black solid by going into layer, new solid, dragging this solid underneath the text layer. Going into the pen tool and drawing a rectangle mask underneath the hello layer, that's the text layer. I'm just going to turn this back on and inside of the mask I'm just going to go down to mask feather and I'm just going to pull this up to a higher number, so 390 works for this example. And I'm going to make sure that I parent this to the null object and if we play this back we have the text layer and we have this black solid, that's the shadow, sticking perfectly to the wall. And that is how you use motion tracking to track an object to a wall. And that's it. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, and I will see you next time for the next video. Thank you for watching.